In 1897, after arriving at a port in Bulgaria to load up some cargo, a captain named Elliot tells one of his crew members, Wojciech, to hire some extra hands that will join them to London on their ship called the Demeter. Wojciech immediately announces this, and as he looks around, a one-eyed sailor signifies his interest. But Wojciech doesn't look too impressed by him, so he moves on and meets a doctor named Clemens. Even though Clemens says a couple of things that make him qualified to join the Demeter, Wojciech says they don't need a doctor on the ship. He eventually picks the one-eyed sailor and another person to follow him to start loading up the Demeter. When Wojciech gets to the ship, one of his colleagues, Olgren, tells him that an old Romani wise man has refused to allow his men to assist in loading the cargo on the Demeter. As Wojciech laments that it's an unreasonable decision, the wise man hands over some money to Olgren and tells him to give the men on the Demeter, after which he wishes them good luck. Olgren and Wojciech are left shocked by this, but they continue working to get their available men to load up the ship. In the process, the one-eyed sailor sees a dragon symbol on one of the boxes. He looks so scared that he loses his grip on the box, which almost hits Elliot's grandson, Toby. However, Clemens is right on hand to save Toby, and as Wojciech blames the sailor for almost killing Toby, he says he can't follow the ship because of the dragon sign. He says he has heard so many things about it and that it's also a bad omen. He then adds that they can keep the money they're offering because he won't be going with them any longer. After he leaves, Elliot thanks Clemens for his heroic act and Wojciech also offers him the open slot on the ship. With this, Clemens joins the ship and shortly after, the Demeter leaves the port. While still getting his things in order, Toby meets Clemens and starts showing him around the Demeter. During their tour, Toby shows him several parts of the ship, including the place where the livestock are being kept. Toby also mentions that he's in charge of them, and he has told his grandfather that he'll be watching them at intervals. Toby and Clemens also meet the cook, Joseph, who is a good Christian. Later that night, while Elliot and Wojciech are on the ship's deck, the captain tells his partner that their trip to London will be his last voyage with the Demeter. He also adds that he'll arrange for Wojciech to become captain after him. Even though he's surprised, Wojciech accepts the offer. As the crew is then eating together, they all talk about how they'll be spending their bonus. Clemens remains silent until Elliot asks him what he'll use his money for. He says he doesn't really care about the bonus, and that he'll just keep looking into how he can understand the world. Suddenly, they all hear sounds from the livestock area, and Elliot tells Toby to go and check on them. Clemens follows him, but Toby doesn't understand why the animals are suddenly restless. Clemens suggests that it's likely because of the weather, but as they look around, they hear a sound from the cargo hold. Clemens decides to check it out, and as he gets there, he sees that one of the boxes has broken. As he examines the content, he suddenly gets startled by a lady who appears to have been inside the box. Clemens takes her to meet the others, and even though he thinks they should take care of her, Wojciech believes the right thing to do is to throw her into the sea, because she's a stowaway. Since the lady's condition is really bad, Elliot agrees with Clemens, saying he doesn't want to have any deaths on his last voyage of the Demeter. While Clemens is then giving her a blood transfusion to remove whatever infection is inside her body, it turns out that there's a monster inside another box in the cargo hold, but no one knows. Shortly after, Clemens finishes up with what he's doing, and he tells Toby to stay with the lady while he goes out for a while to watch the deck. After he heads out, Clemens joins Olgren in watching the deck for the night. While they're talking, Algren explains to him that most of the crew members will not support the decision to help the lady, because they all believe it's bad luck to have a woman on the ship. As he then walks away to check the other side of the deck, he tells Clemens to knock on the ship's body if he needs him. Algren then takes out his spy glasses to look around. In the process, he sees a strange creature that suddenly disappears. Algren is not too sure about what he saw, and as he looks around, he sees some maggots on the floor. Meanwhile, Clemens realizes that he hasn't heard from Olgren in a while. He calls for Olgren, but doesn't get any response. As he walks around, Olgren suddenly appears behind him and asks if Clemens saw anything on deck. While Clemens says he didn't see anything, Olgren mentions that he saw something weird and that he thinks there's someone else on the ship. Elsewhere, a dog below deck notices the presence of something moving around. However, as he approaches the strange creature, he gets slaughtered. Later that night, Joseph stumbles upon the dog's dead body, and this gets him scared. He also checks the livestock and realizes that all the animals have been killed. He then reports this to Elliot and the other members of the ship. They're all shocked by this, and as Elliot asks if any of them did it, a man named Petrovsky says he's sure the stowaway had something to do with it. Clemens says it's impossible because the girl is still very sick, 
and Wojciech also agrees with this. Clemens also suggests that it's possible the dog got rabies and killed all the animals. Petrovsky still doesn't believe this, and as he argues with Clemens, Olgarin says that he's sure no man did it. He also mentions that evil is on board and that he saw something weird the previous night. Much later, Clemens finds Toby crying, and when he asks what's wrong, the little boy blames himself for what happened to the animals. However, Clemens tells him not to be worried and that there was nothing he could do. Later on, a storm hits, and while the men are rolling up the sails, Olgerin tells Clemens that he saw something really scary when they were on deck together the other day. Clemens says he doesn't believe in evil creatures because they're superstitions, but Olgerin insists that there's something on board with them. The next day, Clemens continues to give a blood transfusion to the stowaway, but her condition doesn't improve. After leaving Toby with her for a while, Clemens returns to hear that the lady has spoken and her name is Anna. He also says that she keeps uttering the word feed. That night, Joseph tells Clemens about something odd he noticed. He says that he hasn't seen any of the rats on the ship for a while. He also adds that it's a potential warning sign of danger if no rats are on the ship. Later on, while Petrovsky is watching the deck, he hears a strange sound next to him. After looking around, he sees a monster on deck but before he can attack it, he gets brutally killed. That night, while Clemens checks on Anna, he hears something on the other side of the deck. As he goes to check what it is, he sees a lot of blood on the floor, as well as Petrovsky's knife. Everyone is alerted to this, and in the morning, they all see that a part of the roof of the cargo hold has been destroyed. As they all wonder what really happened because Petrovsky is nowhere to be found, Anna comes out and shouts that there's a monster on board, and they all need to leave the ship before it kills all of them. Clemens immediately restrains her, but as the other crew members think there's some sense in what she said, Wojciech says they all need to believe in the possibility that Petrovsky got drunk and fell off the ship after accidentally cutting himself with a knife. Even though the others know it's very unlikely, no one argues with him. Later that night, Clemens stabilizes Anna and asks her about what she said earlier. She says that the monster on the ship is Dracula and that he brought her on board. She adds that Dracula has been terrorizing her village for many years, and to get him to stop, she was gifted to him. Anna also shows Clemens the bite marks on her back and says that the monster brought her on board to feed on her. While Olgerin and another crew member named Larsen are watching the deck, they hear someone knocking on the boat's body. Since they're the only ones on deck, they realize that it could be the monster Anna talked about. They bring out their knives, but unfortunately, it's not enough as Dracula comes out and kills Larsen. Olgerin sees this and runs to hide on the ropes of the sail, but Dracula still attacks him. The other crew members notice that the waves are seriously tilting the ship, so they come out to see what's happening. But it doesn't take them long to realize that Olgerin and Larsen are nowhere to be found. However, after a while, they see Olgerin bleeding from the top of the ropes. They bring him down. Even though he's still alive, he starts shouting uncontrollably. Olgeren is taken inside the ship, and he has to be tied up because they realize that he's now possessed. As they try to make up theories for what happened to him, Elliot instructs Wojciech to get all the men to search the ship. While they're at it, Elliot leaves Toby inside the room and tells him to lock the door. However, while everyone is on the deck, Olgeren starts moving uncontrollably until he frees himself. Toby hears this and eventually leaves the room to see what it is. After a while, he sees Olgerin walking to the cargo hold. Toby looks happy to see Olgerin looking well, but this soon takes a wrong turn. Olgerin tries to snatch Toby and take him to the cargo hold, but the little boy is able to escape and make it back to the captain's cabin. Olgerin follows him and starts using his head to smash the door. He eventually stops, but Toby then sees Dracula inside the room. He tries to get help from everyone on deck, but they don't arrive early enough. Before they can enter the room, they all see Dracula in his full form for the first time, and not long after, the monster bites Toby and leaves. Elliot finds his grandson unconscious, and Clemens also looks terrified of what happened. A while later, Elliot starts giving a blood transfusion to Toby, while the other crew members watch Olgerin and try to understand how Dracula is controlling him. Just then, the sun starts rising, and Olgerin shouts that something is burning him. They're all left shocked by this, but suddenly, they see him get burnt alive due to sun exposure. They all go back inside, and one of the crew members, Abram, still looks confused about what happened. Joseph shows up and says it's happening because most of the people on board are sinners. However, the others don't believe this. Clemens then tells Wojciech that they might be able to stand a chance against Dracula if they find it during the day. Wojciech tells him not to think of anything stupid, but this doesn't stop Clemens from plotting his next move. Anna sees him going to the cargo hold later in the day, 
tells her he's going to open all the boxes to see which one Dracula is hiding. Even though he tells her not to come along, she says she wants to help make sure Dracula doesn't get to London. They then check a list of documents for each box and find one headed to a place in London without an owner written on it. With that, they proceed to the cargo hold to find Dracula's box. Elsewhere, Joseph knocks out Abrams and escapes with the lifeboat. However, Dracula still finds him and kills him before he goes too far. Clemens and Anna also find Dracula's box, but they soon have to leave immediately after the other crew members discover what happened to Joseph. Days later, Elliot realizes that the blood transfusion is not working on Toby, so he agrees to let his men throw his grandson's body into the sea. Just as they're about to do it, Elliot claims that he saw Toby's legs moving. They all think he's hallucinating, but as he opens up the cloth covering Toby's face, they all see that the little boy has been possessed. He then attacks Elliot, but the sun comes up and burns him. Following this, Toby is thrown into the water while Elliot suffers severe burns. Later on, Clemens and the others start plotting a way to kill Dracula because they're just a day from reaching London. As they mention that the monster hasn't killed anyone in a while, Anna says that it's because Dracula wants to have enough to feed on before he gets to London. Just then, Clemens comes up with an idea to drown the ship, but Wojciech doesn't like it. Clemens eventually convinces him, after which he also brings the plan to Elliot, who says that Dracula has been appearing to him and making promises to bring Toby back. Clemens and Anna convince him otherwise, and even though he initially wants to kill them, the captain also agrees with their plan. That night, after they set their plan in motion, Clemens tells Anna that she can go back in to hide, but she says she's connected to Dracula and she'll be very useful in finding a way to kill him. However, Dracula doesn't show up after a while, and Anna tells Clemens that the monster knows about their plan. Before they can do anything, they see that Dracula also has wings and can fly. He immediately kills Abrams and also attacks Wojciech, who falls back into the ship. Just as Wojciech leaves a dent in the ship so that water can start flowing inside, Dracula kills him. As Clemens starts looking around to find the others, Dracula also attacks Elliot and ties him to the steering wheel. Just before he dies, Elliot tells Clemens to make sure people know that he tried his best to kill Dracula. Clemens promises to do this, and after Elliot dies, he starts shouting for Dracula to come out of hiding, saying he's not scared of the monster. Dracula eventually comes out and grabs him. Just as he's about to kill Clemens, Anna shows up and cuts a rope that lets a big rod hit Dracula and trap him. Meanwhile, Anna and Clemens jump into the water and hold on to a broken piece of the ship so they can make it to the shore. The Demeter appears to move really fast, and as it reaches the shore, Dracula frees himself and escapes. Meanwhile, Clemens and Anna are still struggling to get to the shore. Before they get closer, Anna shows Clemens that she has gotten infected again. She tells him that she can't follow him to London anymore because she's going to start acting possessed soon. Clemens tries to convince her to wait, but she says she can't. Just then, she starts to head backwards, and as the sun comes up, Anna gets burnt alive. Clemens finally makes it to shore, and after cleaning up, he goes to the exact location where Dracula's box was supposed to be delivered. As he's in a restaurant plotting his next move, he sees Dracula dressed in a suit while sitting not too far from him. Before he can do anything, Clemens sees Dracula leave the restaurant swiftly. After going outside, Clemens sees the monster up ahead, and he decides to chase it down and ensure he kills it, in honor of his friends who were killed on the Demeter. 